All right, guys. So I was thinking, you have the engineer monkey, right? And we've seen when you boost attack speed on monkeys that produce things, well, they produce things faster. Attack speed doesn't necessarily correlate to how fast they attack. It also just correlates to how fast they perform tasks, such as putting down spikes, or in this case, putting down sentries. So what's gonna happen when we take a monkey engineer and we boost him to the full potential of what he can be boosted to? How many sentries are, is, is he going to actually put down? I have no idea and that's what we're gonna figure out today. We're gonna be hopping in and we're gonna be seeing what's gonna happen to an engineer monkey when he gets god boosted because we've ultra boosted things like that in the past but we've never god boosted one before at least i don't think so and so the reason we're not going to be playing on our favorite map firing range is because well when you have things uh they can't spawn on the actual firing wrap mange itself so the sentries aren't going to be able to attack anything and that's no fun so we're going to be putting down our super monkey right around here now keep in mind it's not going to be as amazing and obviously the, the super monkey will be attacking things from time to time it's just going to happen it's just gonna happen there's not much we can do about it but either way the first thing that we're gonna do is i think we want to put our sentry guy He's probably going to be right here because the idea is we're going to want him here and then we want his attack range to be like as high as possible. So we're going to put this guy about right here and then we're going to do probably larger service area and deconstruction just because we want this guy to have a longer range. We don't really care about pin and oversize because this guy, it's not about this guy popping things. It's about the sentries themselves popping things. So we can do larger service area, deconstruction, sentry gun, and we'll get faster engineering in just a minute. But the first things we're going to do is we're going to start this party. Oh no, he's putting him in the wrong spot, but we're going to need a lot of money, right? And so you guys know what the plan is because we're gonna just spawn in all this because we're gonna wanna get a true sun god temple. And well, as you guys know, those cost about a million dollars and it's very expensive. So we're just gonna start all the way up here and we're just gonna start by turning these guys into banana research facilities. So we can also get faster engineering and sprockets. And so now he's gonna attack even faster. And so as you can see, these guys, they're not super great and he kind of puts them everywhere. But the plan is, if he attacks super duper fast, then it's not really gonna matter. So as you can see, he puts down just to keep, so so it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, right? So now if we put down this thing, so now watch. One, two, one, two. So now it actually take, it took away a full second of him being able to put down sentries. So what we need now is we need to be able to put down even more, but that's not important right now because right now we need to be putting down even more banana research facilities, okay? Century Expert just makes it so each century is kind of special and unique and each century just does something different. You have ice, ice things, fire, you know, and honestly, I think it's one of the coolest things about the, well, the engineer monkey is the fact that he has these special, like super cool things. All right, we're doing we're doing pretty well. Round 14, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six of these guys, so we don't really have anything to worry about. We're gonna sit here and relax, build up some money because it's gonna get crazy here soon. So some balloons are kind of wanting to get by here, but I don't want them to get by, so we're not gonna let them by. And so the balloons have to go all the way up and around this way. We're gonna need to really increase this guy's attack speed when we can. Let's go. Let's just keep going. We have so many more. Oh no, can I? Oh, I can totally put it right there. You guys saw. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, yay! I was able to put it down. I, for a second, didn't know if it would have been possible. Okay. So we got a full thing of bananas. So there we go. So we're probably going to want just some more of these. Oh no. Okay. So we do want to put a village right here and radar scanner. Oop, thank you. Radar scanner allows us to hit all types of balloons. And I'm pretty sure, let's see, so this guy's out of the range, and they also get it. So any effects that this guy gets, all of his sentries also get. So if this guy is attacking really fast, well, all of his sentries, lo and behold, are going to attack really fast. Okay, so that's enough banana research facilities for now. So we can kind of take it easy. What we're going to end up doing, though, 
is we're at round 27. Lead balloons are going to start showing up here. Monkey Intelligence Bureau. Let's get jungle drums because, well, if he's attacking faster, look. So we can recharge this to give you an idea. One, two, wait. One, two. So this thing, this attack speed doesn't really do too much. But you know what? It does something. Here, all the way up here, this first one. This is going to be our banana central. Now we can start really focusing on getting everything crazy, right? Everything super duper powerful. And by doing that, we're going to want to put our first, this is our true sun god temple. We want them all the way down here because we can, we can work with it. But for now, we're going to want them all the way down here. Uh, we do not want the sun temple yet. The first thing we want is we want to make sure that we can get uh, the XXL trap. So we're going to get them the 50,000 in support towers. So as soon as we can, we'll turn this guy into a sun temple. Sun temple anytime. There we go. All right. So there's our sun temple. I don't know if he's... Wait, what? Wait, why isn't the sun temple coming out, guys? He's hiding. He's, he's not coming out, guys. He's just sitting there. Come on out, sun temple friend, person. He's not coming out. He doesn't want to. He refuses. Okay, well, if this guy's in the radius of the sun temple, let's just get call to arms and then homeland defense. And then now all we need to do is we need to get this guy to the true sun god, and then we're going to be fine, which only costs $400,000. And while we're waiting, we can actually just turn this into sentry paragon. So that way he can start putting down those crazy unstabilized ones because these things kind of explode. Kind, they kind of explode. They, they most definitely explode. Oh my god, why isn't this thing popping? There we go, thank you. Yeah, they, they kind of go crazy and then end up exploding. Look how many bananas this thing has made. 100,000. Look how many bananas these guys have collected. Almost a million. That's crazy. It just shows you how expensive this strategy is. I'm glad that he's starting to finally put things up in this corner. That's what I was hoping for him to do, is put things up in this, like this ridge and it, that looks like that's what he's starting to do which is really nice so look let's just see what happens so if we recharge this and then we use this one every one second he ends up putting down a sentry how many sentries is he gonna put down when he we really put this guy to the test like really push him to his limits to see how many we can put down it's kind of weird that the the true sun god hasn't like this is free play it's still making us money so it's like it's there but like it's also not there it's it's kind of like hiding from us i don't know it's really strange not gonna lie but either way we're gonna want to uh let's just put another village here and we'll also upgrade this guy just to make sure he can get some money so now we can turn this guy into the true sun god. So what we're going to do is sacrifice and we can now get the true sun god. And now, oh, there's the true sun god. Now he's coming out of hiding. Silly bear. Okay. So there's this guy. Is this guy in range? No. So what we can end up doing is, well, actually all we need is we just need our brewmaster. So we can put our brewmaster down and we can get permanent brew and faster throwing. And so now this guy should have, there we go. So one... So he puts down one about every second, right? But we still have a ways to go because we still need to ultra boost this guy. I did not want to do it. That's fine. So now we can start working, at least trying to ultra boost this guy. So let's add some tech bots. We always need more tech bots, guys. So we're going to take our tech bot and then we're going to start ultra boosting this guy. Oh my gosh, look at this. So one, so one, two. Oh my gosh, look how fast he's putting him down. He's, he, look at this, now we can recharge this. One, two, three. He's, he's doing it. He's doing everything he can. He, we, he wants like maximum attack speed. Is this thing recharged? So if we recharge that, okay. And then now what happens, just out of curiosity, if we do the monkey boost and that. Oh my gosh, he put so many down! What's happening? Oh my goodness. So these all have the sun god effect on them? They do. They all have the sun god effect. Oh my gosh, they're all just rapidly exploding too. Nothing is getting by this. Nothing. We're invincible. Where's our submarines? Uh, we're gonna put a submarine down over here. Nothing is gonna even get close to getting over here, so I don't worry about actually having to do that. So now that we have Energizer, we're gonna need a couple more of... Uh, um, I wonder if I can force these guys to be to like go where I want them to go, you know? 
Like, if I put stuff right here, I wonder if they're gonna put things there. It'll be interesting to see. Either way, I need three of these guys. Because now what I can do is I'm gonna put down three robots, and then I'm gonna use these robots to link up with these abilities so that they're constantly always going. So, all right, and as soon as that wears off, we'll, we'll start the next one. So we gotta wait for it, we gotta be patient, and as soon as that runs off, we'll boost the next one. So we always have a village vote. Okay, and then as soon as, this one should last a little less longer. And then that one. And now as soon as that one wears off, well, the next one should start. There we go. So the timing's a little off, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Like, how by how much? Is it like one second? It's like one second. No, it doesn't matter. So, oh my gosh, he's putting down so many. What is it? He's almost fully ultra boosted too. Okay, we can recharge that. Look how fast he puts stuff down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now he's not even at double the attack speed. Look, let's double his attack speed now. Look how fast he puts down sentries. He's running out of room to put sentry down. But look, he avoids these spots in particular. So what we can do is we can actually take villages and let's start taking villages and blocking off where we don't want him to put, put sentries. And if he can't put sentries there, well, guess what? He's not gonna put sentries there. So we'll put this right here and we're gonna block him off. So now we can, now he's forced to put sentries here in, in this area. So look, look at that. So now he's kind of forced to put sentries. Yeah, look. Okay, so now he has to put all of his sentries in this one spot. Because he has nowhere else to put them, right? He keeps trying to put a sentry right here. Let's, let's put that there. And so now when that's gone, I don't think he can... So all of the sentries are going to end up going here. And look, these sentries all have this radius. So really nothing's going to get by us anymore. And so he's fully ultra boosted. He's got the sun god effect on him. He's got the permanent brew effect. Really, I don't think there's anything else this guy needs. We're already at round 65, and he is absolutely crushing it, okay? He's killing this game, okay? He doesn't care. You know, look at him go. Look at all of these buffs. This is crazy. I mean, these are Moabs we're going up against. And this is just the normal sentries like popping things, right? So as you can see, these sentries are popping things. But once these balloons start coming around here, you're in a minefield now. Look how often these explode. That noise that you're hearing, every time you hear that, is one of these things exploding. Because for every second he puts one of these down, another one is violently exploding with enough power to destroy, I don't know, a ceramic, a Moab, a lot, right? It's a lot of damage because he's not supposed to put that things down this fast. So he's spamming it down, trying to find extra spots and stuff to just spam these guys. So now, you know, let's just boost this guy. Look how fast he just spams them down. And look at the explosions. It's all over the place. This guy has no idea what to do with himself. He's crazy, dog. There we go. And so look, look how fast it explodes. It's just ba 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 Oh no, see, I can put, I can put them like, oh, I can put my guy right here. They must have a weird, I don't know, he's just not putting them there. Either way, this is where, oh my gosh, he has the range to shoot over there? Holy cow, that's crazy. This guy is as much range, this guy is a, a bigger range than the Sun God Temple. Uh, that's kind of insane. Alright, round 77. Three more rounds, everybody. Let's do this. All right. I'm just excited. Now, at this point, I'm just so excited to see, like, what's going to happen. So, what should we do? I know what we're going to do. I have an idea. So, once it gets to round 79, I'm going to stop it. And then I'm going to let all of my sentries die down, if that's possible. And then for the new round, round 80... We're going to see how fast he can put all of his sentries down and destroy a ZOMG. So assuming he doesn't have any sentries down, and then we're going to see what his true potential really is. Okay, round 79, turn off auto star. All right, we just, we want a couple of overclock abilities so we can put that on as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if these, these shouldn't last that long. So as soon as the round ends, these things should kind of just wear down, right? Well, at least I think that's what we're going to try. 
It might not work. I'm not entirely sure. I don't use sentries that often. Okay. So let's see. Are they going to explode? It looks like they're going to stay there. So it looks like they stay pretty dormant until it actually starts. So what we're going to do is we're going to start it. We're going to turn it off double speed. And we're going to double speed it. We're going to we're gonna boost them. And look at that. Look at all those green arrows that... I didn't even get to see it, guys. I... I didn't even get to see what happened. What happened? Can we get like an instant? What it did it just? I have no idea. I'm, I'm done. That's that's enough. I'm I'm over it. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.